have big dreams. Welcome, everybody, to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Good evening, Kevin. Shea Gilgis Alexander loves getting to the rim. Last season, he led the league in drives per game by a wide margin. Matter of fact, he drove the most that we've ever seen since they started tracking the stat back in 2013. His blend of length, strength, and craftiness has been remarkable to watch. Guys? Like you, David, on the sideline. Boy, I love Gilgis Alexander in his game. D.A., thank you. Here's what Oklahoma City's schedule is looking like. On Wednesday, they'll be facing Hassan Whiteside and the Utah Jazz. Then on Friday, they'll take on John Wall and the Houston Rockets. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Hilges, Alexander, and Dort are the guards. Then there's Favors, and it's Pa Kusevsky in at the three slot. And for Dallas, the guard pair, it's Doncic and Hardaway. Finney Smith in at the forward with Porzingis as the other. And it's Powell in at the five, Roman the paint. And Greg, with over a decade you had in the NBA, is there an opening night that you remember most? Man, that very first time putting on that Knicks jersey. The game was in Orlando. I played 28 minutes, which was a lot for a rookie back then. And I'll never forget that night. Now, here's Doncic. Hardaway finds Doncic. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Well, the ability to work around the defense and get himself free for a shot despite being in the paint. That is a beautiful play by Luka. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The pass to Pokrasevsky. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Driving to the basket. Just five on the clock. And it's the Mavericks on the break. Here's Doncic. Nails the 16-footer. Doncic has got his second bucket of the night. Now, this guy is just a great decision maker with the ball in his hands. This time, Doncic takes what the defense allows. That's the mid-range game. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Hardaway with it. He's picked up by Gilgis Alexander. And Doncic, here we go. Shay Gilgis Alexander. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Here's Doncic, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Well, the exceptional handle. Doncic has every move, can go in any direction. Look out, folks. Favors sets the big for Gilgis Alexander. That's his first personal foul. City moving the ball around. Passes it to Favors. Four on the shot clock. Three-pointer. Dort misses. Mavericks have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Doncic against Dort. Tries from the block. Luka Doncic again. Doncic has got eight. Boy, every time he goes up now, it just looks like the shot's going in. He's perfect from the field in this quarter. And you know you're special when you're drafted third and people still can't believe you slipped that far. That's how good Doncic has been in his young career. Now, here's Dort. And he drives in. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first Tim Hardaway picks one up. First Dort is 6'3", 215. You don't think he wants a little contact? That is nicely done on the drive. And Greg, at the time of the 2018 draft, Luka Doncic was regarded as the best international prospect ever. And that sounds right because, you know, coming from Europe, a lot of people assume that he's got a low ceiling, but he's surpassing all those expectations. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Driving the lane. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. 
And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. And Kevin, everybody's dissected Luka's offensive game, trying to find that weakness. And I'm just here to tell you, I don't think he has it. Luka Doncic. Shooting one. That free throw good from Doncic. And the play of Doncic drawing comparisons to so many all-time greats. But Greg, the one that stood out to me, they said he's a combination of Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. What do you think? And it just makes sense with his passing and shooting. You throw in the step-back game of James Harden, you start to see why he has become such a problem for this league. The shot by Beasley, no good. Nothing going right on the offensive end. Zero to four from the field. Oklahoma City foul. Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's his second person. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. At the line for Dallas. Luca. That free throw good from Doncic. Taking on a tear shooting the ball in these recent seasons. Tim Hardaway Jr. has really locked in from long range. Well, you think about it, for so long, this guy was more of a volume scorer. He's been feasting now on the open looks, and that has really helped his percentages. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Brown is checked in for Dwight Powell. Maxi Kleba comes in for Persingas, and it's Reggie Bullock in for Hardaway. And he's able to get it back. Count it good. Yeah, coaches pet peeve there. No box out. But to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Now, here's Kleba. Brown inside. He's covered by Muscala. Brown, good. They are on fire just in a great groove here early on. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here Melodon. Pass to Roby. Now here's Melodon. Guarded by Doncic. Melodon passes to Muscala. Launches a three. It's tipped. Doncic right side. And Doncic throws it down. They have been excellent so far. Coming in with a well-balanced attack on the offensive end it feels like they're getting the shots they want and defensively they are connected in a, on a string now here's Williams still looking for his first bucket in this one kicks it to Muscala has to Melida into the lane it's rebounded by Dallas here's Doncic By Doncic. How about the finish from Luka Doncic? My goodness. Go ahead with the hammer. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And it's in there. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Mavericks leading by 16. The dunk and the foul, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. Theo Maladon picks one up. Boy, and the foul. Doncic has got great upper body strength, completes the play, nicely done. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Vans checked in. One shot. That free throw good from Doncic. 43 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Mann, guarded by Doncic. Roby can't hit. Now here's Bullock, and he slams it one-handed. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Williams with a clean look, drills the three-pointer. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game.
your Maverick State Team. Here's Doncic. Takes it inside. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Doncic has got 22 points. Hard to believe you can have this kind of a flow. Unbelievable. Here's Mann. And the Thunder, another three. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. And so it's Dallas. Out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. They've kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels. And it's gotten them up big. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And big man Chris Depp Przingis, not resting on his laurels, he describes what he does to get better in the offseason. It's getting in that weight room and living in there, basically. Um, doing what I need to do, and, and then I'm going to be twice a day in the basketball court as well, just working on everything. So. And it's 7-3, and with a few injuries over the last couple of years, Greg, that lower body strength work, so important for KP. Absolutely. I mean, his skill is tremendous for a player his size, but keeping his body strong is going to be critical. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Mavericks team out there. Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. Taking a look at the Thunder, we've got Lou Dort. Favors is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Baisley in at the power forward. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Luka Doncic. And a switcher also for Oklahoma City. Okashevsky's checked in. Most people would say Derek Favors a throwback big man, right? The guy wants to be effective at posting up, but he can shoot the face-up jump shot as well. And the point guard, Jalen Brunson, I played against his father, Rick, for many years. And the young fella showing he might have what it takes to improve on his old man. And that's coming from you, who knows a little something about father-son point guard duos. Maybe Cole will have a chance to do the same, young sir. Ouch. Here's Pakusevsky. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Rocket six. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He just has lost the feel in terms of scoring here in the second quarter. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Coming into last season, the Thunder had posted a winning record every year for more than a decade. But when they decided to rebuild, they went all in. And promoted their G League coach, Mark Dagnall, to head coach. He said adversity tests the connection of the team, tests everything, and shows you who you are. Guys? Good way to start. Thanks, D.A. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Dort. From deep three-point range. Mavericks with the rebound. It's stolen by Dort. Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Now the pass to Dort. Over Hardaway. Dort misses. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. A three from Porzingis. Finney Smith kicks to Hardaway. Inside and stolen by Favors. Here's Pakusevsky. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. 
And that one's good by Fade Fade. And buckets like that have been hard to come by. Not the most exciting game. Both sides look way off in terms of their shooting. Well, you have to appreciate the defensive battle for sure. Both squads struggling on the offensive end. We call this grit and grind. And Torch gets it to go. And Greg, you made your money on the defensive end. What was the toughest kind of player to defend? A one-on-one -on -one guy or a, or a constant movement type of player? Uh, I've always will say that it's harder to guard movement. You know, as a defender, you're, you drill a lot about guarding the basketball. But when a guy is great without it, man, that is the hardest job you can have defensively. Thunder trailing by 12. Gilgis Alexander with it. Now defended by Carly Stein. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. No good from Finney Smith. Oklahoma City's gone one of two on three-pointers here in the second quarter. So Dort misses. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Hits it from three-point range. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And crazy fans get a free t -shirt. Let's hear it, fans. All right. Look who's coming onto the court. Come on and get loud for your Mavericks dance team. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Willie Cauley Stein. Trey Burke comes in for Dorian Finney Smith. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Hardaway. And Doncic is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Giddy the pass to Roby. And he comes up with the deuce. Roby's got his second basket. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. Doncic. Scores after the quick crossover. And the Mavericks lead by 15. Well, you can tell the team feeding off Luka Doncic right now. They see him produce. They're just getting him the basketball. Here's Rope. They've been defending. Here's Mann. No good on the triple. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Doncic finds Porzingis. He gets it in there. Porzingis has got his first best. Well, we know that Kristaps Porzingis can shoot the rock. He's a sweet shooting big, but you'd love to see him use his size in the paint. Here's Giddy. He's guarded by Bullock. Giddy, no good. Dallas leading by 17. Doncic dishes to Bullock. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Giddy the pass to man. To the middle. Down to five on the shot clock. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. The Thunder with another miss. Dallas has gone three or four from long range in the game. The drive by Doncic goes to the reverse layup and taps it in. <laughs> Doncic has got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. And it's Williams finishing it off. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Here's Doncic, and the dunk by Doncic. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their play. Well, what great game planning, what great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. 
This one for three. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. Everett's ahead. As they wrap up the second quarter with a massive 16-4 run. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Jason Kidd. Jason, how do you feel about your team's performance? I feel great. You know, we're sharing the ball, we're making extra pass, but we're attacking the pain. And if we can continue to do that, puts us in a good seat. Jason, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. And taking a look now at that first half, what a showing it's been so far for the Mavericks. Credit these guys for coming in with the right game plan and then patiently executing it. Most of their shots have come in the flow of the offense. Rarely did they take a bad shot. Good, clean first half. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Finney Smith in at the forward with Porzingis as the other. The guard pair is Doncic and Hardaway. And it's Powell in at the center position. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. A dribble drive by Luka Doncic isn't about speed. It is about craftiness. This guy is so smart. And Lou Dort has made a name for himself on defense. Viewed as a superstar stopper. Well, he's earned it with his play. And there it is for him. Just such a well-rounded offensive Dort. player. He's got a little bit of everything. Here's Doncic. Again, the Mavericks score. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Greg, the way Dort has handled guys like LeBron and Harden, he does as well as anyone when it comes to defending them. Yeah, I mean, he's small but strong and really hard to bump off his spot. Quick enough to stay with anyone on their drives and just turn it into a great shutdown defender. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. And I think they count on him for that. He is a tone setter, extremely unselfish. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. And that one drops. Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got six points. Great concentration through the contact. Gilgis Alexander, excellent focus. And it's Doncic missing. Normally, he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. Here's the break. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And the foul called on Porzingis. That's his first foul. And the Mavericks with some changes. Brown is checked in for Pazinkas. Brown comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Luka Doncic. Melodon's checked in for the Thunder. Passes to Dort. No 
good on the shot. Some solid defense from Brown. This guy just can't find his rhythm, and you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Wow, wow, he got whacked. Caught that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. For Dallas, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. They'll be off next to Utah for a meeting with the Jams. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. Here's Hardaway. The shot comes out, and it's Oklahoma City the other way. And it's Gilgis Alexander in the corner. There's the drive. It's hauled in by Brown. Mavericks leading by 20. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Right side Hardaway. He can't hit that time. Under trailing by 20. Pass to Dort. And here is Melida. He's covered by Brown. Here's Pakusevsky, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, Three, four, four, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul That's called on the two. Dallas Mavericks. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And for, as for last season, he was a 74% shooter at the line. A different look for Dallas. Maxi Kleba comes in for Dwight Powell, and it's Reggie Bullock in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Here's Brunson. Dallas, no good that time either. Thunder have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% for the field. Takes the three. Muscala misses. The Mavericks have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Brunson kicks to Brown. Over Muscala. Yep, it counts. And the Mavericks lead by 20. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Pass to Kleba. Dallas moving the ball around and finished off by Brown. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Oklahoma City shooting it well here in the third, about 50%. That pass was about the location. Puts it perfectly into the hands of his teammate. Mavericks leading by 20. Runs in the pass to Kleba. And there's the pass to Brock. He kicks it to Bullock. Shot clock at six. Let's it go from deep. Knocks down the three ball. Bullock's got his third bucket of the night. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Now, here's Bullock. He's got eight. There's 49 seconds left to play in the third. And Kleba slams it in. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. And it's the Thunder with the ball. The Mavericks making the shot. Count that one for Dort. Boy, you've got to have a tight handle to make that kind of move. Luke Dort, show off. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. Brown dishes to Brown. Brown kicks to Bullock. Here's Kleba. It's blocked. They get it back. Off target from outside. From deep. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Dallas with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll get right back to the action when we return.
And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. So the Thunder Five right now, they've got favors. Williams is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's man in at the point. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some Shane credit Gilgis for doing Alexander. the job of stepping in. Assist you run. love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. And Doncic, here we go. Well, Luka can get himself into the paint with consistency, and boy, does he make that a high percentage finish. They're trailing by 21. Gilgis Alexander with it. He takes it in, and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right. GA seeing more and more of that these days. Backward guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. They hardly needed anyone else today to get out to this lead. I mean, he's provided almost all of their offense. Oklahoma City shooting for the game at 42%. Passes it to Vapors. Gilgis Alexander against Hardaway. Favors with a screen on Hardaway. Here's Mann. A three-pointer off the mark. Dallas leading by 21. The drive by Doncic. Roby with the rebound. Williams scanning the floor. Hardaway with the steal. Here's Finney Smith. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got six assists in the game. This guy has been elite as a passer since he entered the league. He takes pride in making the guys around him better. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Knocked away on the wing, Williams. Pass to Roby. Gilgis Alexander against Hardaway. Count that bucket. Gilgis Alexander's got six points in the quarter. After an ice-cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. The try by Doncic, and the dunk by Doncic. I'll tell you this, Luka Doncic will never turn down an opportunity to finish at the rim. He's elite and loves those opportunities. Here's Mann, guarded by Doncic. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Favors passes to Mann. That one, no good. Nice D from Doncic. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yes, that goes in. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Gilgis Alexander with it. Foul defended by Carly Stein. And the foul called on That's Porzingis. His second personal foul. That's foul number First two for him. Foul. Dwight Powell's checked in for Willie Carly Stein. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Baisley's checked in for Roby. Pass to Williams. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Doncic feeling it out. Benny Smith passes to Doncic. Break player movement is always a constant in the NBA, but with more players on the move every year, the power balance can shift in the blink of an eye. And we've seen it with the Lakers, right, just a few years ago. The Nets and a few others. Not everyone, though, loves it, but it sure keeps things interesting. Here's Baisley after Luka Doncic's bucket. Favors sets the pick for Gilgis Alexander. There's the pass to Baisley. Six on the shot clock. Here's Mann. A three-pointer, no good. 
And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. Got that one up quick. Doncic has got 46 points. Passes it to Vapors. Gilgis Alexander with it. Guarded by Hardaway. And the foul That's called the foul. on Tim Hardaway Jr. Tim Hardaway Jr. That's his third foul of the game. Third person of the Browns foul. checked in for the Mavericks. Second team foul. Sterling Brown comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Jr. And a new group getting ready for Oklahoma City. Mavericks cut out call. Who wants a teacher? Take a look at the new balance, Ladies player of the game, Luka Doncic. Hey guys, no doubt who our pick is going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Down low, it's tipped. Powell with the steal. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance in four downs. The blocking really turned things into their favor this time. Great timing, anticipation. They got the blocks, and that definitely changed the momentum of this game. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Luka Doncic. This guy has been shot-making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. No question, he got bumped on that shot. And for top high schoolers, Doris, who want to make a salary instead of going to college, there are now quite a few options. There are, Kevin, and I love it because, to me, this is a free market system. So whether you're going overseas, you have the Ignite franchise in the G League. And listen, there may be more options to come, and I think that's a great thing. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. To the left wing, there's the triple. Giddy, no good. Here's Dallas. They're on a 20-6 run. Dodgich finds Brown. Now, here's Doncic. Not a lot of room. And he banks in the lane. Doncic has got 51. Convincing lead with very little time remaining. And the fans are pumped. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Here's Giddy. Pass to Melodon. Shot clock at six. To the left side wing. Muscala. Brown knocks it away. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Doncic. Great look there, but off target. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. They poured it on a night. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. Hey, Luca, another win for you, but the games keep coming, so what's the most important thing for this team to establish? I mean, compete, you know, the way we compete today from the start till the end. Uh, the game is never over, and just compete. I think it's important that you compete. Congrats on the win, man. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.